Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Really should be an exciting season upcoming for Carolina basketball and a big reason why the talent in the front court. Of course, you have Garrison Brooks returning an all ACC player from a year ago. Our upcoming guest, Armando Baycott, plus two really talented freshmen coming in as well in Walker Kessler and Dayron Sharp. But for Armando, he's not just looking forward to some success on the basketball court, but in the classroom as well. He was just recently accepted to the business school here at Carolina. And as you'll hear from Armando in a conversation he had with Adam Lucas and myself, that business school was a big part of his desire to come to Chapel Hill. It was one of the main reasons why I came here. I knew it was a prestigious business school and I mean, a lot of the great leaders of this world attended the business school and it's something I've been working for and it's something I'm really into with both of my parents, um, both being business people. Uh, it was a huge accomplishment for me. Armando, how, how has this new world of doing class online, how, how has that been? What kind of adjustment has that been for you? I know you've been doing it for a while now, but what's that been like? I mean, it's been difficult just not being able to interact with my classmates and also being in there with my teachers and getting that hands-on learning. It's just a lot different online, but I mean, everything is different in this world we're in right now. How do you think it affected your summer and fall as a basketball player? How were you able to to get work in and feel like you were making improvement for your sophomore year? Yeah, I mean, it's just been a lot different because, I mean, obviously we haven't been able to do, like, as many open gyms as we did last year. I mean, we got the season starting later. It's just you got to be more precautious with the things you do. So, I mean, it's been a lot different. Armando, you, you guys were able to, of course, work out some, not as much as you mentioned as you would like during the offseason practice now, just getting going underway as well. Give, give us your thoughts on, on what the team is like. So many new faces this year for Carolina basketball. I mean, it's just a whole different energy. I mean, me, Garrison, and KJ were talking the other day, like when we were having like our open runs, I mean, it's just so much more competitive. You got guys talking trash in the group chat <laughs> the day before, like us doing seven game series. Um, Adam, I know you saw it, just like how competitive it is. It's just a way different competitiveness in the gym and just a different feeling. Okay, so since you mentioned it, let's talk about that competitiveness. You and four freshmen took yeah. on some upperclassmen in a seven game series and you fell behind and then, then you went, well, yeah, I wasn't gonna do you like that. <laughs> then you went on a little winning streak, which I'm sure you'll point out was four in a row. There yeah. was some chit chat as those games were being played. There was some Armando putting on some sick post moves. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that day and what it says about this team as a competitive group. I mean, like I was saying to the younger guys, I mean, it just showed a lot of fight and resilience in us just going down 3-0 to the older guys. I mean, obviously Garrison was doing his thing. Playtech wasn't missing any shots. KJ controlling the floor. We went down huge, but we said to ourselves, hey, we got to go on a four-game winning streak to win because we knew it would be tough for us in the locker room if we got swept or even lost because we were talking so much <laughs> junk. So. <laughs> We came back to show resilience from the freshmen. I mean, they've been great. Um, Caleb, he's been really good. RJ, Dayron, I mean, he a beast on the boards. I mean, I thought I was pretty good on the boards my freshman year, but God dang, that boy, he know how to get to the boards. I got to give it to him. <laughs> I, I was going to ask you about that. So th not to suggest that there wasn't competition in the post last year, but now you're down there, Garrison's down there. You've got two walkers down there, Walker Kessler and Walker Miller. You've got Dayron down there. Now, what what is a – practice like or a workout session like when you've got all these big bodies all trying to do the same thing i mean it's just so fun and so competitive i mean just with our big man rotation this year we won't be able to play against bigs as good as us this year so most of our competition will be in practice and the fact we get to play against each other every year will make the game so much easier i mean i was having a conversation with walker kessler yesterday and he like man college is hard and i'm like yeah it's hard in practice but i don't think it'll be this much harder in the game Armando, what's, uh, what's your thought on the semi-bubble life that you uh, might be leading this year uh, with, with basketball? Have you given any thought to it or what it might be like? I mean, as a team, we've all been bubbling already, so we kind of prepared for it. We've just been sticking with each other mainly, so it's just different. It's obviously sad for me just not being able to interact with just my different classmates and friends all around campus, but hey, 
everything comes with a cost. <laughs> it's hard to believe it is that time of year again. It's almost time for Carolina basketball. I'm ready. Me too. Exactly. So is he. It but only really matters. Most ready, importantly, yeah. Armando's ready. Armando, man, great to see you as always. Really looking forward to the upcoming season. Appreciate you giving us some time today. Got you. Thank you for having me.